Alright, hello everybody, and welcome back to another great video. And today, we are going to hit the rewind button, and we're going to turn the dial all the way back to 1987. And we're going to be looking at a little game that ended up influencing some of the biggest games we play to this very day. And I'm talking about a game called Contra, released in 87 by a small-time Japanese company called Konami. And it was actually a pretty simple, simplistic style game. And what it was, is it was a game that involved you playing two different characters, uh, Bill and Lance, two hardcore Contra soldiers who were determined to bring down the Red Falcon organization, which is trying to invade the Earth with aliens. Yeah, game storylines have gotten a lot better since then. It was pretty simple, and the premise was basic, but what made Contra special was actually a couple of different things. For one, it was one of the very few coin-operated arcade games that would allow for two players. So either player could play as Bill or Lance, one of the harder battle-hardened commandos, and they could both play at the same time until both players died, which made for a pretty interesting uh, gameplay experience, especially with coins. Number two, what made it really special is Contra was not just a, was one of the first games that actually introduced first and third person shooting in its game. Now let me just explain this for just a moment. Anybody who's picked up a controller and maybe replayed Contra over the years, you can play for free online these days, guys. Is what you could do is at first it looked like you're just your average 3D side scrolling game, very reminiscent of games like Metroid even today. But what made it interesting was as you progressed through a couple levels, all of a sudden everything would shift and you would actually play as in you were in a first person style game. It was pretty neat, and in 87, nothing had ever been seen quite like it. Contra was insanely popular. In fact, it was so popular, a port version was just was months later released for the Nintendo NES at the time. And it also received to a lot of attention. In fact, it went throughout the entire world and hit just about every single major continent. Here's just a little fun fact for you. Even though Contra was uber popular and went to every major continent, Germany received it a little differently than everybody else. And due to its extremely strict laws, Contra actually had to change its title and change its uh, enemies. Yeah, apparently at the time they deemed it a little bit too violent to be released in its theaters. So in order for them to release their game, Contra had to be uh, had to change their name to I believe it was, if I'm pronouncing correctly, Probotector, and they had to change all the uh, enemies robots. Yeah, go figure, right? <laughs> but even there, it still sold a lot. It was also received rave reviews. What, um, and even to this day, it's still called one of the most fun games ever. Um, GameSpot refers to it as one of their greatest video games of all time. IGN actually refers to it as the hardest game ever to beat. Well, that's kind of subjective, it, re it really, isn't it? But that's pretty important. But wait a minute. Didn't I tell you that it influenced some of the biggest games today? That's absolutely correct. I did. And I'll explain exactly what I'm talking about. And I'll actually just go back to what I said originally. What Contra was able to do, and of course the following sequels, Super Contra released in 88, and Contra 3 Alien Wars released in 1992, what made all of those really special is that they, they, tr they were the games that first truly pushed the envelope and did all kinds of different things. See, Super Contra that came later was really actually the first game that not only featured like a 3D side-scrolling shooting game, but also as the, you progress to levels it would shift, instead of just going side to side, the screen would move up and down. This was a direct inspire of Metroid that would follow a decade later. While Contra 3, while Contra 3 Alien Wars would actually, um, Contra 3 Alien Wars, what made that super special is actually one of the very first coin operated type slot games that attempted to deliver a cinematic experience. If you're asking what I'm talking about, just go play it and, or just watch it being played for myself and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So, anyway, Metroid, Halo, Call of Duty, Medal of Honor, Battlefield, some of the biggest shooting games out there in all of their reminiscent and different styles all 
owe it to Contra, which was the first kind of game of its kind that ever tried to do what it did and was successful at it. So every one of these games owes their owes their roots ultimately to that game. And another fun fact for you. This was also the game that uh, that launched Konami into mega stardom fame, and it was actually after working on Contra 3 Alien Wars that the studio went on to develop this little game called Metal Gear Solid. I'm sure a lot of you PlayStation fans know that name. That was one of the landmark shooting games that went on for almost 20 straight years, all owing to a, to a slightly odd, mildly goofy, and absolutely an insanely fun game called Contra not bad guys and thank you for watching this video do not forget to like comment and subscribe